Oh, you dingus. Staggering force. Of course, now we're gonna use Breakthrough, I guess. exactly who I wanted her to go after. I really wanted her to go first so we could yawp. Oh well. Oh, we still gotta yawp out. Dude, this Arbalist is friggin' blind, man. Blind as a motorphone, motorphone, motorphone. Whatever that means. Whatever that means. I'll just keep refreshing my chat. One day, one day. Dare to dream. Damn! I didn't expect that type of damage out of her. Be wary. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Nice. All right, we got to save this last key for our secret room that we're bound to find. All right. I came from nothing, but I'll not end with nothing. Oh, even better. Uh, grape fire or grape fire, grape shot plus break you should get them all. One falls. Nice. That's three rounds. So by the time we get to the end of this hallway, this effect should be mitigated Success on her. So clearly in view. Or is, or is it, it merely a trick, trick of, of the, the light? light? Don't those. Oh, she's still got one point left. What the heck? I can't have her starting off with, like, that kind of a problem. We're not really injured. In fact, we're not injured at all now. We've got good torchlight, so stress shouldn't be much of an issue. I think this team, I think uh, we're good to go fighting this guy. The only thing I really need to think about is do I want to toss anything so I can take the survival guide off? And I think I might take this food off right here. Like, just toss it. Because basically in this fight, the survival guide does nothing. Obviously traps and scouting won't mean anything. Scouting after the fight, but... Although it is, it's one speed. Ah, one speed is worth it. Oh, now wait a minute, we got a map. It shows us there's no obstructions. Alright, goodbye shovels. Goodbye shovels, we miss you lots. The madman hides there, behind the pews. Spouting his mindless drivel. Mmm, drivel. My favorite. Start him off with a damage buff. Her stun can't reach the back line. Lowered enemy accuracy and crit. Now, if we want to forsake her damage, we could try to basically do what a man at arms would do, which is make him miss all the time. Well, a commander at arms. I haven't really tried this already, but this is the level one profit. This might actually work. It's got low buff resist. I mean, between these two, we have enough damage. A vision. Something falling. Man, 
Anti venom. Now. Oh, really? Come on. Come on. Oh, that is rude. Dude, he set them up. Disaster will strike here. It is certain. Rude, rude. Alright, we wanna pop that on him to try and make sure that if he uses Fulminate again, he's not gonna get right where it hurts. He's not gonna get blighted. Same with her. Try and continue to decrease his accuracy. Damn it, you still got blighted, Akingorp. Are you kidding me? A hand's breadth from becoming Might be a dead gorp. Every road ends. He knows. He knows! Damn, nice hit. 26, that's a new high. Kriya! Uh, we gotta make sure an Akingorb doesn't become a dead Gorb. Yeah, I think trying to use Suppressing Fire on her was definitely the wrong answer. See crumbling earth, stone, and blood. It's just a little blood, it ain't nothing, man. Don't you dare miss. Thank you. you Damn! Nice. I care not, so long as he remains dead. Ooh! As this is actually a pretty decent item, so generally, when it comes resistance. to, like, sometimes an antiquarian. Because you want them on the very first turn to be able to throw up their shield. Man-at-arms, I guess, it sometimes has a place, because he can also defend someone on the first turn. You can also have him use buffs. This one, eh, it's kind of like the garlic, but not nearly as... Well, I mean, it's less than the garlic, so... So it's just the way of things. Um, before we check the map, let's throw this on you. Let's throw this on you. Take both of these. No scum. We got stuff to check. Lots of things to check. Plus, we need to go back and try our hand at Shambletown. Shambletown, Shambletown. I'm gonna get greedy. Thirty-five percent base chance of a stun. If we give to this to her, I don't remember what the Shambler's base stun resist is at level one. And I think we'll give her the bloodied fetish instead of this for the fight. A spark without kindling is a goal without hope. He doesn't... Oh, no, we get surprised at the beginning, though. 
We have the herbs. We could use this. She doesn't need the accuracy or speed. This will give us minus 10% stress, which is going to be good because the Shambler fight tends to be all about the stress, at least as far as I'm concerned. I actually like that thought. Let's do that. A jug for each of us. We live once only. Time to enjoy it. Okay. Nothing else we can do. I can feel my... I feel my heart. It pumps strong. It looks bad, but there is nothing to fear here. We are healthy and mentally steeled for this challenge. I hope so. The light. The Let's organize our inventory first. That is the foremost and paramount thing when it comes to fighting the Shambler. If you don't have an organized inventory, you might as well just give up before the fight even begins. I'm being honest with you guys. I mean, that's just... That's the way the world works. It's all about the inventory. Now the real question becomes, do I want this on anybody for the bonus healing? Now, okay, yeah, actually, let's give this to Akingorp. He doesn't need this. Minus speed, that's not useful. Alright, so the big thing is going to be that when we get surprised in the beginning of the fight, she's going to need to keep using Breakthrough to get to the front. And unless she gets put in first position... Actually, you know what? Let's do that. Because then, no matter what happens, she won't be in first. No, that's not necessarily true. You can get surprised and only some of your people might move. But if that's the case, she has a speed of 2, she has a speed of 4, she might, well, she will go first because of quick draw, so she can always use breakthrough if that's the case. Yeah, alright, let's do that. Let's give that a try. Let's do it! Terrors it's easier if you squint. These shadows, ah! But yonder, a glint of gold. Alright, 100 to our 135, there's almost no chance that we're going to get this stun off. Well, there's 35% chance. Oh! He doesn't have super high bleed resists. About an 80% chance to put bleed on him. Nice. There's pretty much nothing she can do. Just straight up damage. Same with her. We're actually going to use blind fire because even though the damage modifier is minus 10%, it's going to give her a speed bump. So she should be able to immediately go again. of zero to her speed of... Oh, wait a minute. The quick draw gives her minus three speed after that. Alright, she's gonna stun these. He should use undulating advance on his next turn, which will put him in the forward position. Damn, his damage is so low. It's all that prod, man. It's funny how far 33% prod goes. You should still be doing two-thirds of your damage, but... Oh, that mixes us up. Whee! Oh, wait, no, that's just stress. Alright, that's fine. Oh, Spitfire! Nice hit! Now, I'm doing a really risky thing here because the longer you leave the Clapper Claws alone, the, uh, the harder it gets to kill them. But I, because we had such a good start, I'm pretty sure, nice, we're going to be able to kill the Shambler before that becomes a big issue. That's my hope. Unnerved. Unbalanced. Oh! Now, I can't celebrate yet. We haven't actually killed the, uh, minions here, but it's looking pretty damn good at this point. 
Alright, so now it's got maximum extra damage and a lot of prot, but we should be able to stun it and down them. They don't have a lot of bleed resist. 